Hello. So now we've reached uh, the NAND gate or the knotted AND gate. So let's just get started. So the knotted AND gate, as you can see the symbol here, I have sort of color coded it. Uh, hopefully it makes it a bit easier to uh, go through. But, uh, oops. So in white, I in white I wrote the N, and as you can see here, this is the NOT component uh, for the symbol of the NAND gate, and in red I've highlighted the AND component. So, you know, literally just an AND, an AND symbol with a NOT symbol at the end. Uh, but again, the circle will simplify the NOT. And the NAND gate might, ex might function the way you expect it to. Um, it takes two inputs, and then it n and, uh, has one output, just like an AND gate. And it functions, and the way the NAND gate functions is, it's a knotted AND gate. So if you recall what the AND gate is, an AND gate returns true if and only if A and B are both true. So if we were to like really, if we were to knot that logic, the uh, the NAND gate would, would you know, moving some words around, like the NAND gate would return false if and only if A and B are both true. Um, let's just look at this true table. Hopefully you know, those words are deceiving. I mean, uh, they're correct, but we, let's just look at this to help better solidify what the NAND gate is. So we see uh, for the first case, A and B are both false. In red, I've shown what the AND gate would normally yield. And as we can see, the, the AND gate would yield false. However, because this is a NAND gate, we need to not this response. Um, so, you know, zero or, you know, false knotted. Uh, yields true. So here we see the output is true, and that is the output for a NAND gate. Um, case two, A is false, B is true, an AND gate, or a uh, AND gate, I don't want to say it in the AND gate, because that's just a bit tricky right there, right? Uh, but the AND gate would normally yield, I also call it the AND gate, yeah, the AND gate would normally yield uh, false, and we not that, so we get true. Third case, we have A is true b is false the and gate would yield false here we not that so we get true for the fourth case we have a and b are both true the and gate would yield true but to, since we not it we get false and so this is again just focusing on these these are the results of an and gate of a nand gate sorry a nand gate um and hey, i've drawn this sort of circuit right here um, again, please read the resources to see um, the actual implementations um, of of NAND gates and you know circuit wise. But I've sort of made this because it's a lot easier to sort of visualize. Because you know, I mean, here's like a quick implement. Here's just one of the I think this is the CMOS implementation or the NOMOS. Hey, let me double check. This thing is so cool. Has everything we need. Yeah, it's the NOMOS implementation. And as you can see, it functions just like you might expect it to. Um, sorry, I should show that, but uh, you know that that's one implementation. But I've sort of this is just mine. Again, by no means is mine a hundred percent. It functions identically, but by no means is it optimal. I just did it because I think it helps demonstrate the concepts a bit better. Because here, I mean, if we recall, this is you know we have two transistors in series with each other that looks like an AND gate, and here we have our CMOS not circuit, right? And so, oh, I'm literally just taking the result of this and I'm knotting it, so. A NAND gate, but again, don't go around thinking that this is the the actual implementation. Please follow the resources that I give you. So I'll just run through the cases real quick. Um, an H here will signify true, uh, and L will signify false. Okay, and this LED over here um, that I've highlighted uh, will be the and, will be the result of an AND. So just so we can we can juxtapose them. Or so, you know, so we can see what the result of the AND gate would be and the result of the NAND. Just drive home the point even further. Let's just blaze through this real quick. First case, A is false, B is false. That's what we have here. Our LED is off, signifying false for the, the AND gate would normally yield false. And here we have an H, which means true. And as we can see, yes, the NAND gate would return true for this case. Um, for the second case, B is true. Our LED here for the AND gate is false, off. And we have an H over here signifying true. So, and we see 0, 1, or false true. So, this is false and this is true. So, everything is good. Uh, for our third case, A is true. Oh, spoiler alert, you guys saw that. So, <laughs> A is true. 
B is false, so our, LED, our LED here is false because that's what the AND gate would have or would yield. And over here we have an H signifying true. Again, and that's what the NAND gate would yield. And then for the final case, um, A and B both true. Our LED here is true or on, uh, signifying an on for the AND. And then over here, um, once we've knotted that, we have an L for low or false. And that's the NAND gate. Uh, this is sort of a quick, Im a dummy implementation, but again, please fall. I don't want to be killed by like electrical engineering students who say like I'm destroying their trade and you know I'm misinforming a whole new generation of computer scientists. But um, I just wanted to make that clear. And um, this is just a quick, this is just my dummy implementation. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, let's go. This video has gone long enough. Keep learning, guys, and have fun.